Good morning. Good morning. Me and my sous chef. I just wanted to come on really quickly. Um, this is the year of the new beginnings. Ha ha ha. Everybody says that, so I just use that little catchphrase. <laughs> but I wanted to come on and show what we're doing today. Um, I was going to do a black eyed pea stew because it's a healthy kind of option. Uh, we're going for healthier um, as opposed to for the holidays. I don't know what we were doing. I, we won't even discuss what we were doing for the holidays. <laughs> Let's, not Let's not go there. We'll leave the past in the past. Let's just say that. So um, I decided to do a black eyed pea stew, but I discovered that I had already had organic pinto beans in my cupboard. So I'm also doing a new thing with my budget called using what I have, right baby? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so we're doing a pinto bean stew. So I just want to come on really quickly to show you what we're doing. These are the potatoes. We're putting mm -hmm. potatoes in there. I'm going to saute my greens. I'm sorry. Saute. This is um, diced up bell pepper, diced onion. I'm going to dice up my um, carrots. I also have kale over here, some fresh parsley, and some, um, what is that stuff called, honey? Cilantro. Cilantro. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I also have some peppers <laughs> because I like it spicy. These are serrano peppers. Um, I'm gonna um, use a little bit of those as well because Eric doesn't like it too spicy. No. My clothes are all tripped out. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so the pinto beans are on. I just want to come on really quickly and show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna saute up. Uh, I'll probably come on and do an update every now and then because I'm going to probably more caramelize the onions because I like a sweet onion and um, things and um, I don't really want a firm bite of the onion in the, in the stew, I want a more soft bite and also a sweet bite. So I'm gonna caramelize those first, add the bell pepper and the carrots, um, and then let that saute, put that in with the beans. What, Cause you know, as everyone knows, it takes pinto beans a while. That's another reason why I was going to do the black eyed peas stew, because black eyed peas don't take a long time. Oh. But it doesn't really matter. And then I went to the store and black, I saw, I showed Eric, I said, uh, look here, the black eyed peas are only $1.19 for a 16 ounce bag. However, like I said, I had them, I wanted to use them. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna use what we have in 2020. Use what we have in 2020. Come on now. Use what we have in 2020. Use what you have. <laughs> so just wanted to come and update you. Love you guys. Thank you all for watching. And we'll be back. Thanks. Fit for Life family. Fit for life, family. Fit for life, Lashley's. Okay, you know what? Don't raise your shirt like that because you. Uh uh. Don't do that. Well, you know. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I just want to come back and show you a little bit of what the um, stew is looking like now. Here is the mirepoix, if you will, of um, the um, carrot and the bell pepper and the onion. Letting that sweat down. I know I said before I wanted to caramelize the onions first but I changed my mind that's the thing with cooking you can change your mind you can do whatever you want to do so, so I just put them all in there together letting them all just sweat a little bit and get that flavor together um, as they sweat down um, once these cook down a little bit more then I'm going to add this to the stew which is right here these are the pinto beans and uh, the, the um, carrots chopped carrots and the uh, diced potatoes the broth for the pinto beans <sighs> let me tell you y'all this again is no waste 2020 so um we saved a bone a ham bone from when was it babe christmas, christmas. was it christmas no we didn't have ham at christmas yes we say we we saved the the bone from Thanksgiving, so I um, cooked that off yesterday. I just let it boil and boil and boil in a pot with water, and then I drained it because I didn't want any of the meat. Um, you know, not that I'm um, adverse to meat because I'm plant uh, plant based forward. So I try and eat more and more meats. I mean, I'm sorry, not not more and more meats, more and more vegetables, <laughs> more vegetables than meats for sure. Um, we probably eat meats what about once or twice a month and then do a um except for the holidays 
like I said, that was a that was something just for fun. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. So um, we had that, so I did boil that off to get the broth from that. And um, I soaked the pinto beans, because as you know, pinto beans do take a long, long time to cook. However, if you soak them like I did for 24 hours, they don't take that long, because I just tasted one. And they're softening already. Generally speaking, they would have taken all day to cook. I would cook pinto beans for four hours. Not to say that I'm not going to do that, but I was able to, uh, since they're softening already, I was able to go ahead and put the potatoes and carrots in there. And um, once those potatoes start getting soft, everything will probably be done at the same time. Again, I'm going to add, I rinsed and chopped the um, kale, and that's going to go in there. And then I have, like I said, I have parsley and I have cilantro for flavor. I also have the serrano peppers, which I'm going to chop up a little bit of that and put that in there. So we'll come back when it's done um, and just let you see how it looks, okay? But I just, I did want to bring in a little bit, since I did add the potatoes, I want to show you exactly what was going on now. All right, see you soon, bye. So I thought to myself, I said, what would make something more, feel more stewy? You know what I'm saying? Stewy. Good word. So the tomatoes would make something feel more stewy. Because you know how you have those beef stews and they're all um, thick and rich with that gravy Whoa. broth and that um, tomatoes and potatoes and carrots. So I said, so, so. I'm going to put me some tomatoes into the sweet um, <coughs> peanut bean stew. So I will turn this around. No, I'm going to have my sous chef, my sous chef do that. I added, this was my mirepoix, and I added some um, crushed garlic into here, as well as, you got it? There we go. As well as uh, about a tablespoon of um, organic tomat tomato paste and some fire roasted tomatoes. And I'm just letting that simmer, just letting that do its thing. A little bit of salt. To bring out the flavors that's going when i add that to this that's going to add another depth of flavor to this so this like i said it's just cooking away it's the pinto beans the carrots and the potatoes just cooking it away it's getting thicker it's doing its thing i turned it down on low um i'm going to add some tomatoes to this i'm just going to crush them up with my hand i'm not going to add the juice i'm just going to add the tomatoes i'm going to take them out of the pan and um just crush them with my hands and put them into the to the um stew itself so just wanted to come back and let you know it's exciting because i don't even know what's going to taste like <laughs> but we're just we'll find out won't we we'll be back Bye. we're going so i forgot to tell you all that not only did i have the ham broth for the pinto beans but i also added my trusty Lori season so mm. I use this for just about everything. But anyway, I love it. And I also put in some granulated onion powder and some granulated garlic powder. I like the granulated better because it doesn't clump and get all icky in, in the liquid that you're adding it into. So I just wanted to let you know that the pinto beans themselves were seasoned. As I told you all when I was doing that Thanksgiving extravaganza, I love to season as I go to season, <coughs> excuse me, each layer that I'm cooking, I season it to make sure that each thing that's in within the whole um, thing that I'm making is indeed seasoned. So that's it. Just wanted to let you know. So here we are. So here we are. <laughs> I have um, cooked the pinto beans. Uh, the potatoes are tender. The carrots are tender. My mirtois with all of that stuff in there, the tomato paste mm -hmm. and the to uh, fire roasted tomatoes have been uh cooked down and I've added them to the pot. And I wanna tell you all something. Look at me, look at me. No matter how hard I try, I always wind up cooking a lot. It's a, It really is a sickness. I think I told you guys that before. Look at this, it's a huge pot. Sure is. So if anyone wants to come by the <laughs> and share. <laughs> oh, gladly. Let's have a bowl of a pinto bean stew, won't we? <laughs> so here it is, this is the final creation. There's um, kale in there, there's, um, oh, I did chop up and saute some of this vegetarian Italian sausage, which is really good if you crisp it up. I just wanted to try and do something non-meaty since we come came off of 
um, a holiday full of lots of meat. Um, <laughs> so this is really good. I sauteed that, browned it, put it in there as well. That's what the bits and pieces of what looks like meat in there. So it's my daughter just came by here and her husband, Stefan, and she said she tasted it and she said it was really good. So uh, once we plate it up and eat it later tonight, then I'll take a picture of it. And um, you what guys can... You guys can, <laughs> hello, you guys can, can see it. So I'm going to, once we plate it up, I'll, I'll tell you, tell them when they do that. But okay. my sous chef is getting ahead of himself. So I'm just going to put um, some di um, cilantro, cilantro <laughs> and some parsley, flat leaf parsley on top of it uh, for the plating. So that's that. It is finished. Thanks for joining me. Bye.